VLAN hopping is probably not a very common attack on your networks. The fact is, is it takes a little more technical know-how to attack your network, and the benefits of doing it aren't quite as great as some of the other ways to leverage your network. However, the mitigation against it is really easy. So you might as well make these changes on your network. And in fact, what we've already done is made these changes on our network just by setting up these switches the way we did. So let's cover what those changes were and just take a look at them on our switches. So what configurations have we already made that help us mitigate against VLAN hopping? Well, let's take a look. I'm on switch two right now. Let's take a look at an access interface first. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a show run and we'll take a look at one of the access interfaces and FA01 is one of those access interfaces. So we'll get into that. And we can see that this is, first of all, it's shut down. <laughs> so that alone, a, attacker can't utilize a shutdown port. So that's just security in general, that's, that's nice. And then we have this as part of a VLAN that it doesn't go anywhere. So VLAN 5 can't be trunked to anywhere else on this network and it's got no DHCP server on there. So it's just a dead end network. So that is also just helpful for security in general. I, like, I don't like to use the default VLAN, which the default VLAN on a Cisco switch is VLAN 1. So it is on a separate VLAN, one that doesn't go anywhere and so that helps with security. Now, specifically for VLAN hopping, is you, this is an access port and cannot be changed to a trunk port. And I, that is done by this command right, right here. So an attacker can't establish dynamic trunking protocol because this is an access port and it won't allow it to create a trunk line with whoever's on the other side. So an attacker can't utilize this. So we've got several steps here that mitigate against VLAN hopping and several steps that mitigate against several other type attacks as well. The next, let's take a look at one of our port channels. So what I'm gonna do, and remember the port channels is gonna be our trunk lines between the switches. So I'm gonna do a show run and we're gonna take a look at the interface port channel. And we'll just take a look at port channel one. So another thing is that, as I mentioned, the native VLAN is not the default VLAN. So by default on your Cisco switches, the native VLAN is gonna be the also the default VLAN, VLAN one. So now I've got this set up as native VLAN Two. So if something does, does need to connect to this trunk line, it's gonna connect it on a native VLAN of two. Uh, but if you didn't need a native VLAN, you could just turn this off altogether and then you would mitigate against that. Uh, it also is allowing um, only certain VLANs to go across here. And then it also is set up so it is not using dynamic trunking protocol. It's set up specifically as a trunk line, switch port mode trunk. So now no device that connects to this can establish that dynamic trunking protocol. Now, one thing that I did on one of my switch two, uh, switch one here, let's take a look at it because it's set up a little differently. I'll do a show run and we'll do interface port channel and let's take a look at port channel two. So in this case right here, switch port mode dynamic desirable. So this one, this switch port is set up as uh, with DTP and I don't really like that. So I wanna change this to be a trunk line. So I'm gonna get into there and I'm gonna do a switch port mode trunk to turn off DTP. Oh, I do need to get into the interface though first. So I'm gonna get into the interface, uh, port channel two, and then let's do a switch port mode trunk, and that will turn off DTP. And I get this 
uh, this rejection right here. The command was rejected. An interface whose trunk encapsulation is auto cannot be configured to trunk mode. So this is a problem. I need to, I want to set this for trunk mode and turn off DTP, but it's not allowing me to do this. There's a simple way to find solutions, and that is to go to Google and look up what it is that you're trying to fix. So in this case, I'm just gonna type in an interface whose trunk port is auto. There it is, so it pops up in there. And look at here. And the reason why this is different, the reason why this is not coming up is because this is a different type of switch. This is a 3750 and it's got a different firmware version on it. And so I looked this up and what we need to do to fix this is going to be a switch port encapsulation dot one Q. So I need to change that first before I can enter in that other command. So let's try that out. I'm going to do a switch port trunk encapsulation dot one Q hit enter. And now I want to do my switch port mode trunk. And now let's take a look at that interface. I'll do an end, do an up arrow. And there we go. Now it's set to trunk. And now we don't have DTP turned on on this trunk line. I would need to do this for my other two port channels as well, uh, because each one of my uh, trunk lines across here um, need to be changed to the same type of setting. So that's how we mitigate against VLAN hopping.